Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Test Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to create that 70s psychedelic title in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now we're on the edit page and we're going to start by bringing a new fusion composition in our timeline. Now let's go over to fusion and for this one we're going to start by going over to template, here edit and click generator. Then we're going to bring in the noise gradient. And we're going to link the output of that noise gradient to the media out. Here we're going to select the tab number 5. That's what we're going to use to create our background. Here I'm going to change the detail to 1. I'm going to put the contrast all the way up at 5. And then here it's with the scale that we're going to really create the pattern. So you can just decide on whatever pattern you want. For me, I'm going to go about midway. So I think 10 should be good. But feel free to adjust it to whatever pattern you prefer. Now, as you can see, that background is not animated. We're going to need to adjust the citrate. Right now, it's at zero, so there is no animation. And the higher you bring the citrate, uh, the quicker the animation becomes. Us, we want to have something that is quite low-key because it's not supposed to distract too much. So we're going to go with something like 0.02. And as you can see, it's just moving slightly, but it's not too distracting. Now we're going to change the color by going over to gradient and then here we're going to input the color that we want. So I'm just going to look online for a hippie slash psychedelic color palette. I found this one that I will link in the description below and I'm just going to use all the color code and paste that in DaVinci Resolve. So here I'm going to start by copying the yellow, then going to resolve and then here going to paste the yellow color. And I'm just going to repeat that process for each color. Now that it's done, I have just two access points. So here I'm going to select the first one and select delete and then do the same thing with the last one right there. Now we can just move around those color and change the order right now because the yellow and the red are within the same kind of family. They are next to each other in the color wheel. There is not a whole lot of contrast. We have some kind of two block of color. So let's try to modify that by bringing here, for example, the blue in between and trying to see how it's behaving now. It's a bit nicer, I think. Let's just try to move the yellow that way. And I think I like it like that. But yeah, just feel free to play around and you know adjust that. So here we could try to move the purple and see how it's behaving. I think I'd rather having the purple at the end over there. So just play around, see what works for you. Right now, I think I'm happy with that. So now if we play it, as you can see, we got our background. Now let's just add the text. So we're gonna bring our text in. We're going to link the output of that text to the noise gradient and then here we're going to write resolve or whatever text you would like to add. The font choice play a big part into the look. In my case, I went to fontesk.com and I choose the deserved font. So if you want to get the same result, just download that directly on their website. The license is free for personal use, but not for commercial use apparently. So just be aware of that. If you've installed the font already and you don't see it show up directly here on your font, restart DaVinci so DaVinci can rescan your font library and you can have it pop up right here. So in my case, I'm just gonna search for it, deserve font and just bring that in. Now we're just gonna increase the size and then I'm gonna adjust the position by bringing that down. Now we're gonna add a drop shadow to the text and some glow. So here we're gonna hit shift space on our keyboard with the text selected and search for drop shadow, bring that in. And then we're gonna just hit shift space once more and search for glow and bring that in. Then we're just gonna select everything and bring that up to add a displacement node. So here I'm gonna search again, shift space and search for displace and bring that in. Then we're gonna hold shift and then bring it here in between the glow and the merge. Now I'm gonna hit shift space and search for fast noise and then bring that in and link the output of that fast noise to the displace. Here for the fast noise, I'm gonna bring the detail up to 10, then the contrast up to five, the scale up to 10, and then here the seat rate to 0.05. So right now, as you can see, it doesn't look exactly how we would like to. So we're going to go over to this place and here we're going to bring the spread all the way up and that's just going to smooth back those edges. Then we can go to the X and Y and here we're just going to bring the X refraction to 0 0.01 and we're going to do the same with the Y refraction at 0 0.01. And now if we play it, Perfect, we got our animation. Now, if we want to make more separation between the text and the background, we could do that by here bringing a new background and linking the output of that background to the noise gradient. And then here, we could just 
decrease the alpha channel just to have like a small black layer between the two to uh, decrease basically the brightness of that background and helping creating more separation between the background and resolve. In my case, I'm gonna go with 0.2 and I'm happy with that. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in the comment what kind of video you like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.